on the special winter weather outlook for 2014-2015 from MeteoMark here at Weather Northeastern. I'm going to discuss factors from El Nino, MJO, all the way to record snow and ice in Siberia that will create a dynamic weather situation here across North America to create a very interesting winter that could be very similar to 2013-2014. Let's take a look at the factors affecting, of course, starting with El Nino, we're looking at about a half a degree Celsius to three quarters of a degree Celsius above the normal. Here in the Eastern Pacific off the west coast of South America, that equates to a slight El Nino, just below the one degree Celsius threshold for a moderate El Nino. So what's that mean? That means we'll see some slight effects of El Nino, but not a full-blown El Nino. Now, what's this mean for the drought in the desert southwest, stretching to the Pacific coastline? This does mean some relief. We're not looking at the tremendous relief that we need, but we'll be, we'll be looking at some systems that will head into the area that could create some moisture and as well as some drought relief here in the southwest all the way to the Pacific Coast here from San Francisco down to San Diego into interior portions into Nevada, Reno, Nevada here. So we're going to be looking for some possible drought relief here into the southwest. And of course, we're starting with the Siberian connection here across North America that will bleed a lot of cold air southeastward across the North American continent and stretch into the southeast. And some of the coldest air will be here across the Ohio River Valley into the mid-Mississippi River Valley and extending eastward towards the western Appalachians. Now, some of these systems could spin up here across the Gulf Coast into the east coast of the United States. But as I said, this will set the stage here for a very interesting winter weather outlook. The Siberian connection always usually means a very cold and snowy Siberia always usually means a very cold and snowy eastern two-thirds of the United States. And this winter promises to be very much identical to last winter, especially from January onward through February. Those are the two months to really watch. Let's take a look at those temperature outlooks for your North American continent here. First, we're starting here in the southwest from Los Angeles all the way north to San Francisco into Reno, Nevada. This is uncharacteristic of an El Nino. Of course, we're not in a full-blown El Nino, so we'll still see above normal temperatures on the order of 2 to 4 degrees Celsius above normal, about an average temperature outlook for the Pacific Northwest. And it's not until you get from the Rocky central and eastern Rocky Mountains on eastward. As I've said, that's where some of the coldest air will be in the light blue, about two degrees Celsius below normal. But as you get into some of these darker purples here, especially the darkest areas, darkest blues and purples, we're looking at a good six degrees Celsius below the normal stretching from Iowa down towards portions of northern Arkansas, over towards Tennessee, and over towards the western Appalachians heading northward towards the Ohio River Valley and into the Pittsburgh area. We could be looking at a good six degrees Celsius below the normal. So it looks like your heating bills will be looking quite on the high side here, unfortunately. And of course, here along the East Coast, we're looking at an average of two degrees Celsius below normal along the coast in interior sections of the Northeast, about four degrees Celsius below the normal. Here along the Gulf Coast, looking into Northern Florida and Eastern Texas, we're looking at two degrees Celsius below normal. Dallas also looking at about four degrees Celsius below normal, stretching on into portions of the Intermountain West and Southwest here, also looking at a good two degrees Celsius below normal. Let's take a look at those precipitation outlook. We're looking at about 10 to 25% above normal here from the Pacific coast, extending into the Intermountain West here, into the desert southwest, looking good to bust some of that drought. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we're looking at about average, which is not too bad, and heading on across the Gulf Coast, this is where we start to get into some really above normal. 25 to as much as 50% above your normal precipitation. This is not frozen. This does not include frozen or liquid. This is all precipitation. So it's interesting to note some of the heaviest will be across the deep south here, particularly from Atlanta, Birmingham, over to Dallas on northward towards Little Rock, Memphis, over towards portions of the Appalachians and the east coast of the United States. And if you look just west I-95, that's where we could see as much as 50% above your normal for precipitation that extends all the way northeastward into southeast Canada. Very interesting. You almost see a pattern setting up here from 
the southwest all the way to the east coast here. Now let's take a look at frozen precipitation. This includes snow and ice amounts. Your eyes are really drawn here to this line, this axis of heaviest frozen precipitation above normal snow and ice from the I-95 corridor on westward, mainly west of the big cities, into portions of the Poconos, the Catskills, the Susquehanna River Valley, the White Mountains, and extending just west of D.C. and Baltimore and Philly, all the way down towards the central and western Appalachians, and even as far south as northern Atlanta here on across the deep south nashville little rock we could be as much as 50 to 75 percent above your normal just north even including just north of dallas here so, so this does include ice so we could be looking at some hefty ice storms that cause some power outages across the deep south here intermountain west we're looking well above normal look at this just west of denver could be as much as 75 to 100 percent above your normal snowfall very good for the snowpack and the skiers here and then sierra nevada we're looking at about 25 percent above your normal snowfall cascades looking at about 25 percent above your normal snowfall as well so very very interesting winter weather outlook here it's not until you get up here into northern canada and towards hudson bay into the northern provinces up here you get a little bit below normal and, uh, but if you notice, even the areas in northeastern North America that are going to be slightly above normal temperature-wise, we'll still see above normal snowfall likely as we get these east coast snowstorms. Now across the coastal plain here, as I said, there'll be more mixing going on, so you won't get 50 to 75 percent above normal snowfall in the big cities. You will get about 25 percent above your normal snowfall, though, as some of those systems will head out to sea, and a lot of them will hug the coastline, bringing a snow to a mixture of sleet, freezing rain, and eventually over to rain, with interior sections getting some of these blockbuster snowfall, some of these crippling snowfall events that many of you are have become quite accustomed to here along the East Coast during the last 15 to 20 years. So very interesting outlook here and of course across the South you'll also be on winter weather watch here especially north of the Gulf Coast that's where we could see some hefty ice storms this winter and some snowstorms as well so you've started to see in the last couple several years here some snow and ice pretty far southward even as far south as the Gulf Coast. So this winter promises to be very dynamic, very interesting. And of course, comparing it to last winter, 2013, 2014, it promises to be just as bad in many areas. So I will have complete winter weather coverage continuing throughout the winter time, from G especially from January, February, and March. I will issue separate outlooks for those months as we approach those time periods. But I want to thank you for joining me for this special edition of Weather Northeastern. I'm going to leave you here with a map of the Northeast, especially the Northeastern Corridor, west of the I-95 area. Look at this. Some of these areas here will be seeing quite above normal snowfall, as I mentioned here, on the order of 50 to 75 percent above your normal snowfall, just west of the big cities. So, of course, the big cities not looking too shabby either with snowfall totals as much 25 percent above your normal that's quite a bit as well so theme is cold and snowy eastern two-thirds of the country drought buster here in the southwest not completely eliminating the drought but putting a dent in it that's a step in the right direction that's going to do it for this edition of weather northeastern's winter weather outlook and I will have separate updates as well. If you want to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com and Twitter at WX Northeastern. Thank you for joining me for this special winter weather coverage outlook forecast for 2014-2015.